Hello everyone and welcome back to another Airborne Aviation video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to log on as a fully qualified S1 controller. So you've just passed your exam um, and now you're looking to get onto the network and do some controlling. So the first thing I'd recommend is to go to the airport that you're most comfortable with. That's normally the one you've done your training on, which I think is normally either Manchester or Edinburgh. I was trained on Edinburgh. And so for the first few hours online, I went to Edinburgh and just got comfortable speaking to the pilots and getting everything sorted. Today, though, because Edinburgh is taken, we're going to go to Liverpool, which brings me on to my first point. So before you... Um, log on to the network you want to go to a site like Vat Vatastic or Vatspy something that's going to show you who's online and what's available in terms of ATC positions so you can see it's a pretty busy day today in um, the UK London's online Heathrow, Gatwick, Manchester's got quite a few online uh, Newcastle, Edinburgh's online, Scottish Control's online so um, one airport that I thought would be pretty good to show you how to get everything set up would be Liverpool uh, it's pretty quiet, pretty simple airport, but a good one to get everything set up on. Speaking of which, the first thing you've got to do is download the crib sheet for Liverpool. So just into Google, EGGP, so the iCal of Liverpool, uh, crib sheet, that's in UK, and you'll come up with uh, this. Just download it, and this provides all the information that you need. You should have come across these, I think, in your exam. So I'm not going to go into it in too much depth, but basically the key here, what you need is I use the frequencies, uh, the arrivals, and then apart from that, basically just where people go uh, in terms of their stands. And then I think that's, that's about it. Nothing. And sometimes the handoff order is, is quite useful. So now we've got that. I also go to Vatsim UK. Uh, go EGPP Vatsim UK and just to get the charts up basically just so I can see where we're going and I just have them quick reference so I can see where the stands are and different uh, takes away holding points because sometimes your scope isn't that clear so speaking of which let's get onto the network and let's do your first little bit of controlling so first thing you got to do is uh, set up your screen obviously we went through that in the last video which I'll link in the description below um, on how to get the ground map up. But assuming that's all sorted, uh, we're essentially just going to show you how to set up an ATIS today, get controlling with uh, um, aircraft on the ground, and how to set up audio for VATSIM and get all that sorted. Actually, we'll run through that first. So, audio for VATSIM, um, I think we got that sorted uh, last time. But you can see here that we just got uh, everything set up. This bar is pretty useful, just show you what level you're sort of speaking at. And uh, this is we'll set your push to talk key and stuff like that. So this is the first time you're actually going to be able to use this because you're now going on to uh, the uh, network. So once you're happy with that, we can go back to Euroscope and we can connect as a ground controller for the first time. So this is all pretty self-explanatory. Um, call sign, facility, name, rating, certificate, server, etc, etc. And once you're all happy with that, you can put a log off time in. It will confirm that you don't want to put a log off time. It's quite useful if you're, uh, if, the, if it's a busy period, but it's three, quarter past three on a Monday today, so it's not, not, not really too busy at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press connect. Uh, yes, I want to continue without it. And fantastic, here we are. Uh, we are connected on the ground at Liverpool. A couple of aircraft on the ground here, um, and here we are, now we are a ground controller. So the first thing you want to do is you want to just go to this little active airport, again we did this before, and just check that this is ticked. And then you also want to check the winds so of 270.23, which means we're using runway 27. Quite windy today, and a pretty low pressure, okay, so storms are coming. Um, so here you got your departure list, arrival list, and then the first thing we're going to do is set up a frequency actually. So we can click the headphone. And the name is EGGP underscore ground. Frequency, this is where we use the crib sheet. So our frequency we've found is 121.905 or 0.905. 121 decimal 905. Server isn't important at the moment because we use a different server and channel. You just want EGGP underscore ground in lowercase. And we're going to press new and we're going to prime it. And that does us pretty well. Good, so that's now come up here, and now we can go and connect with audio for VATSIM, and what that will do is it'll 
basically, I don't know the technical terms, but that will speak to um, Uscope and see what you're transmitting on. So now if I press, good. Now I press my push to talk, you can see I am transmitting. Very good. Okay, so now we want to set up an ATIS, and so the next thing we do is select this little symbol here, and we've got Liverpool, and so we press, uh, we type in Liverpool here, press get meta, and this will uh, fill uh, this text bit all in, and then all you got to do is I tick that, and then press test URL, and then you can just check that it's working by going start multiple playback, and you should Liverpool be able to hit Perfect. Time you can create this whatever you want, to be honest. Um, doesn't really matter. We'll stick with Charlie, that's fine. So then once you've done that, we can press connect ATIS and that's connected to that sim. And then we need to go back here and go to eggp underscore ATIS. And then the frequency we'll find again here is 124325. 124, the small 325. Server again isn't important at the moment, so you can just press NA and then lowercase eggp atis very good and then eggp atis and then we, all we got to do here is tick atis and then that will work perfect then next is if i can go that's initial seven with the atis but that's all sorted and you've got your text down here as well so um now we've got the departure list as well auto assign squawk and auto assign squawk so um, then you're ready to control, basically. And you've got your ATIS up here, you've got your Meta, sorry, up here, which is pretty useful. Um, it, this will tell you uh, what code it is at the moment, so when the aircraft will call you up. And you've got your controllers on the right, and if you just click these, it'll show you what frequency it's on. To test your transmitting, that means you're transmitting, that's good. And you can also, another little trick that I like is you can also, um, if these other guys are online, especially for your delivery, it's quite useful if there's ground online, you can press uh, uh, receive gr uh, ground in your delivery, so you can just hear other channels, etc, etc. Um, one thing that we can do is have a look at this um, EasyJet, he's just about to take off, go to Gibraltar. You can have a look at his route and just check that his route uh, all makes sense. So Rexham, we know that's a departure, and we can have a look at the crib sheet, constantly referring back to the crib sheet, basically, um, which is which makes everything much easier to have this, and um, shows you who's going where, and etc, etc. So basically, here we've got the standard instrument departures. Rexham coming off uh, 27 is the two tango. And we go back to here, and we can see that he's off Rexham 27, and he's on the two tanker, so that all makes sense. Just check that he's looking. Um, know the altitudes as well. So if you're going uh, north to south, they're odd, or south to north, uh, they're even. So that's so that should be covered in your uh, observation session. Good, so now you're online, you're ready to do some controlling. I'll see if this guy calls me. But again, I'm checking his flight plan, just making sure it's all okay. Uh, he's filed VFR, so if he contacts me, I will uh, change that for him. Um, and let's send him a little message so we can go uh, dot chat, send him a private message, RYR, uh, 439 uniform. And then that comes up as a private message. And you just go, there's also a whole load of shortcuts you can use as well, but I don't mind just typing it. Very good, so he'll get that. And um, it's very simple, actually, I don't like that squawk. So there we go, that's much better. Uh, you can also have a look at the squawks here, show you which ones you can't use. If you've got the plugin, uh, you should be fine, but because um, it'll do it all automatically, but you know here, you just can't use 7010 um, as they're just in circuits. If they're a small VFR flight, they'll be 5051 to 5067. Actually, that might have done that. Ah, there we go, perfect, because these filed as a VFR they put him as a local 5055, obviously in the middle of that. So I'm going to see, update that again. If not, I will... I need to change the flight plan anyway. Um, and I'll update it, and I'll update the squawk when I update this flight plan. If I can update it now, and just let them know. Now that should ideally change... No, it doesn't like it. I'm going to manual set. 2322. Two, two. Much better. 
Uh, so he's going at three five zero. That's fine. Destination said, and just out of interest, this is what Liverpool Ground to Lower Ryanair four three nine uniform. Of information Charlie requesting clearance. I guess to Gibraltar. One four three nine uniform Liverpool Ground. Good afternoon. He cleared over to Gibraltar on a Rex M two Tango departure. Squawk two three two two. Gibraltar Rexham T Tango departure Scott T three two runner four three nine November uniform. Runner four three nine uniform, just confirm the score for me is two three two two. Twenty three twenty two. Twenty three twenty two Ryanair four three nine uniform. Runner four three nine uniform, me back is correct to report fully ready. I seen you've pushed back, so just report ready for taxi. Uh the Q nature is nine on the four. Perfect. So this gives you a little uh, good insight into uh, how we controlled it. As I said, it's not too busy, so it's absolutely perfect. And all I'm going to do is get into taxi down to runway 27. Um, via yeah, we're we'll fully ready for taxi now. Okay, Ryanair 439 uniform taxi, Honor Point Alpha 1, runway 27 via Alpha. Alpha 1 via Alpha. Ryanair 439 uniform. Perfect, there we go. And so. That's essentially how you get, and I can actually just tick this box, which just means he's cleared. And he's put two, three. He's put two, three, two, three in the squawk, and so I'm going to have to tell him. One F439 uniform, just check your squawk for me, two, three, two, two. Should have said now, four, three, nine uniform. There we go. And see, that comes up in green. That means it's all done and uh, everything looks good. So we'll take him down to the end. We've also got a VFR departure there. Again, you should have all covered this basically in your training uh, about what to do for VFRs, how to get their departure clearance. Uh, if you're on the ground, there's no one above you. That's not a problem. Um, you just uh, would clear him as if you've got control, but you would just take him to the point, uh, take him to the holding point and then get him to... Uh, uh, get him off to Unicom. Remember, if they're doing, if they're leaving the controlled zone, you need to contact the approach controller and tell the and ask uh, for clearance. Uh, if they want to do circuits, you need to contact the tower. I should say, if they're leaving the controlled zone, the best thing to do is to get your clearance from approach if they're online, but also inform the tower. And yeah, I don't. It's it's fairly simple. Once you've once you've got past that observation bit, and once you're able to. Um, uh, this is perfect. Once you've uh, been able to set this all up, it's fairly simple, and then um, just feel comfortable doing it. That's the that's the most important part. Speak clearly uh, is very important because uh, you want everyone to be able to understand you, obviously, and it speeds everything up. You will your pilots will test your patience at times. That's uh, that's a given. Um, and let me just pass this car. Find out 439 uniform. Uh, no further ATC available. Monitor Unicorn. One to two decimal eight. Have a good day. Unicom one two decimal right now four three nine uniform bike. So perfect. That was that was perfect just to show you. I, I didn't plan that. I promise. Uh, but that was perfect just to show you how to get set up, how to get the controlling. Um, once you log on, um, just for the sake of the pilot's sake and once uh, and for the sake of other controllers, try and spend. At, I try and spend at least forty five minutes online. Then forty five minutes to an hour. I know sometimes people can't get that much. But essentially what we don't want is lots of air traffic controllers getting online and then locking off and sort of being a stop-start service. So once you've committed to a position like Liverpool Ground, uh, stay on there for sort of 45 minutes or so, um, minimum, I'd say. Um, and then and then you get into it as well, and it's much, much better for you. Because at, at the start, you're trying to figure out where everything is, especially if it's a busy airport and who's doing what. And then you start to get into the groove, so that'd be really recommended. But guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope that was useful um, for you. If you've got any questions, again, leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. Um, Euroscope is a mysterious program at times and uh, it throws out many questions because it's quite old as well. But I will do my best to answer them. But thanks again, guys, and I will catch you very soon. Take care.